Hi everyone, Ken Mercer here from Ken Mercer Music. On my channel last week I released a cover video of Contiki and I promised you I'd make a tutorial of how to play it, so here it is today. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my work and share my videos with your friends. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Thanks for watching. For the intro we're going to learn how to play an E major chord. This is exactly the same as a D major chord, except we move it up two frets and play on the fourth and fifth fret. Now I hit the low E string twice, and then I do a down, up, down strumming pattern on the G, the B, and the E string. We begin the verse in the key of A major. I place my finger flat across the D, the G, the B and the E strings. This way I'm ready to play any of the notes inside the second fret. So we're playing on the D, the 2nd, and 2nd on the G, and up to the 4th on the G, to the 2nd on the B, and the 2nd on the G. Now what I'm doing here, I'm playing the 3rd fret, on the B string, 2nd fret on the B, and 2nd fret on the G. So the 1st fret on the G, to the 4th fret on the D and back to the G again, 1st fret. Second fret on the G, 4th fret on the G, and 2nd fret on the B. Now this next part, it starts on the 2nd fret of the D string to the 1st fret and an open string. To the 1st fret of the G, 4th fret of the G, and 2nd fret of the G, and 2nd fret of the D. Playing the next verse is exactly the same as the first time we play it. Nothing changes on the left hand. You will have to hit the notes a few more times with your pick. So the beginning of the first verse we played. The second verse we play. Okay. and then it's all the same throughout. The next part is an optional piece. It's a riff that was played by the bass player of the Shadows, but I like to play it because it keeps my hands busy if I'm playing along with a backing track or doing a live performance. It's basically this here. 
Now all I'm doing there is a little bit of a palm mute. I start with my middle finger on the second fret of the D string and I'm playing two, one, and then an open string back to the second fret again. Then I'm playing the first fret on the G string up to the fourth fret of the G, back to the second fret of the G. So the whole piece is Now we're going to play this section here. This is made up of three chords in four different positions. We start with a D major chord. So the fingering for this is your ring finger on the 12th fret of the D string. Your middle finger on the 11th fret of the G string. The index finger then covers both the B and the E string together on the 10th fret. And we only play the four strings where our fingers are. That's a D major chord. Next we're going to play an E major chord. This is played with the first finger on the 7th fret of the high E string, our little finger goes to the 9th fret of the B string, and our ring finger goes to the 9th fret of the G string. And we only play the three strings where our fingers are. The next chord is an A major. It's exactly the same as a D major chord down here, except we play it up on the 9th fret. So we have the index and the middle finger on the 9th fret of the G and the E string and the ring finger on the 10th fret of the B. So a D major shaped chord, but we move it up to the 9th fret, it becomes an A major chord. Our next chord is again an A major chord played in a different position. And we play it just like we played the first chord but we bring it down to the 5th fret. Your index finger covers the E and the B string on the 5th fret. Your middle finger covers the 6th fret on the G string. And your ring finger goes to the 7th fret of the D. So now we have Now that complicated section in the middle. There are a lot of double stops which make this the hardest part of the song to learn. We start on the B string with our index finger on the 2nd fret. We play the B and the E simultaneously and we slide our index finger from the 2nd position to the 10th. Up to the 12th. Now we're hammering on from 12 to 14, always playing the B and the E together. So we have back down to the 10th. Now we're playing the 2nd fret and the 3rd fret. 3rd fret on the B, 2nd fret on the E. The next position is the 5th fret on the E and the 7th fret on the B. So we have Now we move up to 14 and 15. 14 on the E, 15 on the B. So we have twelve and 14, 12 on the E, 14 on the B. 9 and 10, 9 on the E, and 10 on the B. 
All together we have... Now we're going to play 10 and 12. 12 and 15. So from 10 and 12... We're just going to play 10, 12, 12, 15, back to 10, 12 again. So 9, 10, 10, 12, 12, 14, 10, 12, and 9, 10. So we have... play. So it's 7 and 9, 9 and 10, 10 and 12. So we have, and back down. So that's so all together. So there we finish with 9, 10, 7, 9, 9, 10. And the last part is... So here we're playing 4 and 5. And then we're just moving up from 5, 7 to 6, 8 to 7, 9. So we have... Now we'll play the ninth fret on the G. And then play the D shape up at this position here. Which makes it an A major chord. The whole thing again. And then we're going to finish with... So we're just playing the E, the B, and the G. While we're playing that D shape, which is an A major chord. Lastly, we come to the outro. And we're playing an E major chord. And the picking hand does most of the work. We change the E major chord to an E major 7th by placing the little finger on the 3rd fret of the B string towards the end of the part. Now we're going to alternate between the low E and the D string, low E to the G string, and low E to all of the strings together, and finish on an A major chord.